So you are on the market searching for a smart plug. I have something better. I have a smart power strip that you can connect up to seven devices, four normal plugs, one USB and two USB-Cs. And the USB-Cs, they have GAN3 technology that can charge up to 65 watts. If you want to know a little bit more about this product, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Backpack, and if you love tech, and if you love discounts, this is the place for you. And if you want coupon codes, just check the description below because you'll find this one and other products in discount on the description of this video. So the first thing that you want to consider when you look to Marrows and you look to this power strip, smart power strip, is the possibility to connect to different systems. So you can connect to Apple Home, you can connect to your Google Assistant, Alexa or smart things. And obviously if you have Apple, you want to connect this to your hub, no matter if it's your iPad like you have here at my side, or if it's your HomePod or your Apple TV, you are able to do some automations in this power strip, no matter if it's to turn on and turn off at a specific time as an example and doing other stuff. So when we talk about fast charging on this smart power strip, you can reach up to 65 watts using GAN3 technology. What that means? So basically GAN3 technology that is available on this smart power strip is a higher energy efficient that will also reduce the amount of heat generation, so you have less risk to have a fire at your home, so definitely a plus. And besides that, all these strips here, they support different types of charging protocols like PD 3.0, QC 4 Plus, PPS 65 watts, Apple 2.A, and others. So in that way, no matter is the product that you have connected here, you'll be able to charge even if it needs less power than another one or something needs more power. If you even need to connect your computer that it needs more energy, you will not have any issues and you will be able to deliver that type of speed. So definitely a plus. But now let's talk about smart controls. And one of them is obviously controlling your smart power strip with your voice. You can use Siri, you can use Alexa or Google, but we are going to give Siri as an example. And if I say, hey Siri, uh -huh. turn off USB. Okay, the USB is off. So you can see now that that light disappear, but now if I turn on a Siri, turn on USB. So you can see now it's turned on and is recharging my iPad as it was before. As you can see, it's very, very responsive and it's very, very easy to use your voice, but you have more. Another big benefit to use this plug is obviously you don't need the internet to run. So if you are at home, your internet is down, but you continue to want to use your plugs, you'll be able because your product just needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi as your phone. And in that way, you'll be able to control your plug without a problem. Another thing that you also understood with this one is that I can control individually each one of these plugs. The only thing that I like to be a little bit different is the possibility to turn on and turn off these three USBs separately. But unfortunately, that's not a reality on this product. Maybe in the future they will add that, but here it's impossible. If I want to turn on or turn off my USBs, I need to say I want to turn off my USB and it's going to turn off the three. And if I want to turn on, it's going to turn off the three. But when we look to the other plugs, they will be individually controlled by your voice or by your phone. And you can, like I said, say this is the fan and I want to work from three until five. The other one is the heat and I just want to work from eight until 10. You'll be able to do that with automation. If you obviously have a hub, it needs to be an iPad like I have there, or it needs to be your Apple TV or your HomePod. Another thing is obviously, if you don't need the internet to control this one and you just need a router, the connection will be faster. So in other words, the response will be better and you will not have to wait those milliseconds that normally can be a little bit annoying. And when we talk about safety, you're going to get here a 13A overcurrent protection. You have USB overload protection 
overvolted protection, short circuit protection, V or flame resistant housing. So even if it starts to get on fire, it's not going to burn and continue to spread around. UKCA certification, a plug-in test 15,000 times and also an on-off test of 10,000 times. So Marys is not playing around with safety. They want to be sure that their products are safe in your house because definitely that's something really important, at least for me, that I have so many devices with batteries. Since I have so many things to charge in my house, I'm really concerned about these type of things. Another thing that I really like is this cable is really, really thick. Inside you are going to find three cables of 1.5 millimeters diameter. So they are really, really thick and that's definitely a plus and that's why you can get this type of results of safety and all those things happening inside this housing. When we talk about fire and like I said, this is really, really important for me. This housing can survive up to 750 Celsius, so that's quite hot. <laughs> and since this one have a overcurrent protection with a 13 amps, you can reach here up to 3,250 watts. So here we have the plug and my iPad where I can show you basically this working. So this is the app of Merus and see how fast it is. One, two, three, I'll turn off one, two, three. So very, very fast and whatever I do, it turns on really, really fast and it turns off really, really fast. If I go now to the Apple Home, it's slightly slower. It's, it's not massively, but now if you look, it's a notch. I don't know if you could notice, but one, two, three, one, two, three, power on, power off, all of them. One, two, three, one, two, three. So it's one millisecond longer, if it makes sense. But if you compare to Google Assistant, it's not even comparable. But now let's talk about advantage and disadvantage comparing this strip with other brands. So first of all, all these power strips, they are 2.4 gigahertz but this one supports Bluetooth and others they don't. So this one have a milliseconds control that other ones they don't have. And besides that, if your internet is down, like I said before, you'll be able to continue to use this product. I'm quite impressed with the amount of times that I give an order and it always happened. So something that with other products that they are not from Meros, I had some issues and here I never had any drop back. Every time that I give an order, something happens with the Meros product. Another thing that I really like is the fact that obviously if you don't need the internet to work with this, also the routines, all the automations that you put here, they don't need internet to work. So in other words, if you said that this plug should turn on at midnight and should turn off at four, you don't have any risks that, for example, you put this to charge in during the night, the internet was gone, your phone didn't charge and it gives you problems because maybe you don't wake up in the morning next day. Something that I really like about this product that you don't find in other smart power strips adapters that you have on the market. Another thing that I said is really important for me is this is already compatible with Matter. So if you don't know about it, this is the future and definitely a plus that you find on the products from Meros that now they are bringing matter to any product they are releasing. Last thing to consider about Meros and this power strip adapter is that Meros produce loads of products. So if you are trying to make a house more efficient, more intelligent, definitely consider this brand because they are cheap. They have discounts on the links in the description below. And also you can buy much more products from them and makes your house intelligent not having to jump from one brand to another that sometimes can make the automation not the best as it could be. My name is Marco, this is Pack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.